I hate the cockroach infested apartment episode of life right now. Grace, I want to first start this off with you aren't alone, okay? You are not alone. We have been there. We have been there, and I'm here for you with a solution. I also want to acknowledge I know how tough this is mentally, physically, emotionally, because you're all looking for cockroaches all the time. Like, you're like, am I gross? Is my apartment gross? I can't live here anymore. No, you're not gross. No, your apartment's not gross. It's beautiful, and we're going to get this fixed. In case you need my credentials, I moved into my house here in South Carolina two years ago. I'm from here. I knew cockroaches existed, but y'all didn't know that there were so many until I moved into this house. I don't know if it's just because it's old and there are lots of crevices and crooks and crane, nooks and crannies, whatever you want to call them. But I had thousands. I'm not getting thousands that I have killed thousands when I first moved in. And I got to the point where I told my parents, if I find one more darn cockroach, you don't have to get me out of here. I have to sell this house. Like I was trying to get out, like figure out, like, can I like screw the people I bought this house from? Like they did not disclose that it was cockroach infested. So I just want you to know I have got all the credentials when it comes to experiencing this. And then on top of that, I've researched how exactly to do this. I mean, dozens of videos on YouTube, so many research articles, all that great stuff. Tried every darn product in the book, I'm trying so hard not to cuss because I just want to cuss when it comes to cockroaches. But I can tell you successfully, after what I've done, I have not had a single cucaracha in mi casa, in my house. And I have like an 1800 square foot house. So it's kind of bigger. I don't know how big your apartment is because you're a real rich, fancy girl. So you might have a big apartment, but we're going to get it taken care of. I'm going to show you what I've done and what I've used. You don't have to use the same exact products, but just, just give it a gander. Look, see if any of these can help you, you know, implement these steps and see if this helps you any. Because I know I have not had a cockroach. have not seen a cockroach in over a year, year and a half. Cockroaches are some sneaky little maneuvers and they can get into the tiniest crevices of spaces and places in your apartment. So one, I want you to go through all the doors and all the windows in your apartment, especially ones that are going exterior. So I'm talking exterior door you know, to come into your apartment and all the windows. This is what you're going to need to do. So just in general, just fair warning, until you stop all of their points of entry into your home, your apartment, they're, they're going to keep coming because there's a source of food in there, whether it be water, they're getting like trying to get near water or food or they eat, they eat everything. They eat absolute crap. you got to stop the point of entry. Cock. You don't have to get one of these fancy contractor grade cock guns. This is what I like to use. This one, real nice and easy because you literally just clip the little tip on it and then you're going to go and fill in those holes and crevices around your windows. So I'm going to show you how, like what one. So like this is just my trim right here. So don't worry about that one. Like any potential points of entry where you would need to caulk. Like, I don't know, maybe right here. I actually probably need to caulk mine right here and my windows kind of look bad. Just don't judge me. But anyways, I did what I could. So you want to caulk around any potential entry points where it's not going to mess up though with you opening up your windows if you want to. This includes also around your door frame. Okay, next up, they can come through your air vents. So what I like to do anyways is just put a filter on them. And I'm going to show you mine. Mine's a little gross and crusty because it's from 1957, but look at it. Okay, I have this blue and white filter in there. It filters out the air, but it also prevents them from like being able to come up through the air vents and come into my house. So I have that on those. They also have these really great rubber ones you can put over the air vents. They allow more airflow in. And they just go right on top. I'm going to send you an email, girl, with all this information, so don't you worry. So you also want to cover up air vents because that's where they're getting in. Next, let's go to sink. This one I hated. I hated this rule, but no dirty dishes in your sink at nighttime or food. You want to put a little cover over it at night. Make sure there's no water. You don't want to have sitting water either because they love, they love sw sitting water. They just want to go swim in it. You need to cover that up at night because they will come through your drain pipes. In your shower, too. So if you have a drain cover, you can get with like little, like a graded one, put that over. But also don't forget those kitchen and bathroom sinks. You have got to keep them covered. And then just for an extra little like chill, I love to just put bleach down mine every night. Just a little, a little bit of bleach and some hot water and turn on that disposal and crush them up. Put up any left out trash food, anything like that at night time and try to close up your trash bags if you can or keep them in one of those concealed containers, trash bag uh container trash cans so that you don't have to worry about them getting into your food like it's concealed and they can't get in that way they love hiding behind appliances so pull out your fridge if you can call any man ask a friend ask you know dave or josh or can we get Bree come over Bree and zach can come on over and move your dishwasher too because they, these suckers love to get behind here i once you get behind there i'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next so we got another product so this product is something that i learned from one of my handyman my family handyman, Ron, he's so great. He helped me with this roach problem. Not all the way, but he did help a lot. 
he showed me this Combat Max Roach Killing Gel. You don't have to use this brand, but just one of these. This little gel is going to come out. I'm going to show you exactly where he puts it. So he put it around, all around my dishwasher because, again, think water. There's, you know, water coming in. They love water. But he also put it here. I'm going to show you. You can also use this just in general in your cabinet. You want to go and make a little mark with this. So next, you want to go in all the cabinets, also in your kitchen and in your bathroom, especially near the pipes. But um, if you just have like a regular cabinet and you want to put some of this bait stuff, it looks gross. It looks like little turds, but um, they are actually bait. That was a horrible one. They're actually bait for the cockroach. The cockroaches are somehow attracted to this food. They eat it. Then they're going to take it back to their little colony of other cucarachas and they're going to distribute it and share it, share the wealth. And it's going to kill them. So this is really great to use under sinks. I like to do it here. I'm going to show you where Ron did it. <laughs> like right here on this pipe. Sorry, it's dirty under here. Um, but this is where he did one of these little turd thingies. And um, also, this <laughs> is not baking soda. This is something called boric acid. I don't have any right now, but I'm going to show you a picture of it. Also, I'm emailing it to you. So don't forget, I'm going to send you all these products. This I put everywhere. All around any pipes, entry points for water. But also, like, in my windows and stuff, I put boric acid or any crevices, like, in my floorboards. That's another place that you can um, caulk. It's floorboards, okay? Anywhere there's a potential entry point. we got to stop them from coming in and then kill the ones that are inside. Okay, I've got a couple more products for you, and I'm not just trying to sell you stuff. Like, I, I don't make anything from this. Like, I'm literally just telling you this is everything I've used, and I do not have cockroaches now. For a year out, year and a half out, don't have cockroaches. This stuff, Ron, the handyman, he showed me this. So these are little liquid roach baits. I put these, I have them everywhere. My bathroom cabinets don't have like anything underneath them. It's just the floor. So it's like a great spot for the roaches to hide because they love cold, wet, and dark. Or not cold, just wet and dark. I put these little bait traps out. They'll eat the bait. Same thing. Take it back to their family and just, they all just die. Put this under your bed, your couch. I'd put at least one in every room. Just a couple more things, I promise. Next, we're going to bomb your house with these. This is the Raid Max No Mess Dry Fogger. You set this off, and there's instructions and everything. I think you can get, like, a pack for, like, I don't know, maybe $10, $10-$15. It will kill every single critter in your apartment. So, like, ants, any, I don't know, maybe you have something else besides cockroaches. Let's hope not. It will kill it. Um, if you do have pets, you just, you want to be safe. It gives you instructions on it, but do this. You have to stay out of your apartment for a little bit, but it will kill anything within the radius. Um, this is really great. And I do this at least once every six months. So I told you earlier a little bit about boric acid. You saw some of that white powder underneath my sink in my kitchen. I've got some here in my windows. So sorry, it's kind of gross in my windows, but I put it in all the windows I have. Then I also get these boric acid tablets. So it's the same exact thing. It's just in tablet form. And I put them also in my windows. I'll put them in these little crevices and stuff like right there. Good. This is under my bathroom sink. Another great place to put them is like I had a hole in my drywall. And I just threw like honestly like four or five. Like I gave this thing like a literal like we OD'd on the boric acid here in the bathroom in this little hole because Lord knows what could come through. You know? You can also put those boric acid tablets in your doorways, like in the little crevices, if you have any. So your exterior door, put those just like thrown everywhere. Same thing with just regular boric acid. It comes in a bottle and you'll just puff it out and squirt it out, put it all in that frame. And again, window frames, door, your exterior door, and then under cabinets and behind your appliances. Okay, this is the last thing I promise. I know you're exhausted. You're like, oh my God, no, it's o'clock. I promise that. This piece of technology is the best technology I have that's ever known to man. This puts out some sort of, I don't know what it is, radiation. It's not radiation, but it puts some sort of signal out that deters bugs in general. Cockroaches, flies, ants, I don't care what it is. I've had flies come in the house and I literally, they get near this. I have one plugged into every room and so many different companies make them. They're just like bug killer plugins. This one's by Bell and Howell. I got this one at Marshall's. Got like a pack of six of them. Y'all, I've, I've literally watched flies just drop in. Because of this thing, like something it emits kills them, but it's safe for you and for your So Grace, that's it. I'm sorry that took almost 10 minutes. I'm so embarrassed that I made an almost 10 minute long TikTok video, but y'all, cockroaches are no joke. And I know you know that. And I'm here to help. Please try these out, these tips out. I'm going to somehow find your email and contact info and send you tips and like the different products I went through. God bless you. You're going to get through this. And I can't wait to hear when you're cockroach free because it's going to happen. Okay? Ugh, stay away from the cucarachas.